Okay, guys, I swear, we are winding down on these mini bots. Just bear with me here, okay? Please, 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 please. Um, I just want to get all these small ones out of the way first before I start tackling the bigger ones. Because these smaller ones are a lot easier to film. Uh, they, these ones are a lot easier to film, except not only just in size, but also in transformation. That way I can just get them done and out of the way while I'm practicing for the big ones. And not to mention, these smaller ones don't have that many repaints. The bigger ones, oh dear god, some of them actually do. The Starscream mold, uh, the color exclusive re the remold later down the road has three to four different repaints. The the original mode only has one, and so on and so forth, but I don't want to get into that, but... Anywho, to keep tuning on this, on this bad wagon. Uh, first and foremost, the other Sunday, I've celebrated my 30th birthday. Yay! And festivities keep on going. Uh... So I'm trying to record some of these in advance. I'm trying to. I'm also trying to record some other things. I'm trying to get two episodes of big reviews out in time of the Power Rangers movie, which should be out by now by the time this comes out. And ho and hopefully my, the sniffles and everything don't get in the way. Anywho, this is uh, is it Autobot? Is it Autobot? I think it's an Autobot. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not making the same mistake I did with Salvage. I'm going to basically have the article up to my side so I can always go check. But this is Autobot Signal Flare. Of course, again, from like the comics. I love how the comics are were, did feature these guys. These guys weren't just like, oh, we're just going to pass them off as some, just throw them a name, a color scheme, and throw them out there. No, they actually featured them in the comic, which I actually do give them some props. And this guy did actually feature an Energon chip on him as well, especially with accessories. Especially, since we're talking about the accessories, this guy is from Energon. So which means all these little gray bits are meant to be Energon pieces, which they're not glitter plastic, thank god. And of course, he is a good guy Sector 7 uh, radial dish. Now of course, the weapon mode of these Energon chips is you plug them together, take this, plug that, and then you can see the detail on there. It's supposed to become a buzzsaw. Which is... Okay. I mean, they usually... I mean, most of the time they usually form like a sword or a club or a boomerang. But... Uh, Saw's a nice different take to uh, change of pace. And of course, just like the, any, of the, any of the other Energon ships, they do incorporate into the actual robot really well. Speaking of which, he's it is a... Well, it actually depends. He's one of the... Uh, he actually really changes depending on what's equipped. Uh, you can say he is a tank without without his energon chips, and with his energon chips, he's a radar dish. Either one, it works out. Playability. Uh, for the sake of this review, actually no, we're gonna actually hold these aside. You saw it when <laughs> when he was uncombined, and of course you can take the chip off. Lift this up. So it has the Autobot sign bill underneath it. And of course, if there's any more, if you have any of the Energon molds, uh, they can use this chip. And and I, nah, that does include some of the deluxes, but not every single one. And for those who don't know, when you do rotate them, the little gray piece rotates, which is kind of cute. Let's take a look at him really quick. I mean, you saw the Sector 7, and he's weird. He has this, you know, the tank treads and the two wheels in the front, which I guess helps. I'm not really sure the real world impl uh, Im 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 usage. Yeah, I cannot speak today. But you can kind of see the cockpit right here in the front. Uh, this one's where kind of the train of, oh, he's really good. I recommend him. Go ahead and get him out there. 10 out of 10. Uh, this is where he, it starts to kind of falling apart. I mean, you can even hear it in my voice. Well, that and that and the pollen's getting to me. Oh, the pollen. But anywho, let's go ahead and start changing this guy. Just do do it. Anyway, uh, saw Lego Batman here recently. Dear God, uh, if you guys have not seen that movie, you need to do yourself a favor. I mean, for real, you guys need to do yourself a favor. Go check out Lego Batman. Go check out Logan. Go check out Kong's King of Skull Island. Haven't seen Beauty and the Beast as of this recording yet. And of course, I haven't seen Power Rangers yet because, well, we're, I'm too far out. <laughs> Because by the time I'm recording this, that's not... And boom! And before I even can finish that, we're already done already. Of course, being a mini-bot, these things are ridiculously easy to transform. Ooh, put the Energon Star back. 
Uh, sniffles. Uh, go ahead and put this radar dish back. Boop. And we are going to... Uh, this one's on top. I'm gonna try and make this a quick one. Quick, quick little video. Because this guy's not really on my high list. But anyway, uh, let's look at him. He will. He does not have any head post ability at all. Like, at, at, at all. Uh, arm post ability? No, ball socket. Elbow. Uh, a weird joint at the knee where it does go, it will go forward, but it can't go back thanks to the, I wish they did something better with these. Uh, he does have a knee joint, believe it or not. That actually shocked me. I thought I broke it when I first saw that. <laughs> See? It's an actual Diesel Kid knee joint. So I was like, huh. He actually has a knee joint. You thought the, you'd think these little $5 figures back in the day wouldn't really have that. But hey. But like I keep on saying, these guys have been surprising me the more I have them. Uh, and the, uh, the big arm... It still retains the gimmick that when you move it, it'll actually rotate. And thanks to the way how tight this is, it'll actually rotate this, the, uh, the, what's now a radar dish. Which is kind of cool. Uh, no waist joint. At all. And I can't really say much about this guy. He's not, he's not as great as the, uh, as great or the ones I've been saying. Like, go out and get right now. These guys are really good. This is, this is where things start slowing down. I mean, the paint job's really good. I mean, you can understand that he's a sector, he's another Sector 7 uh, uh, truck that was repurposed. But, in my honest opinion, this is where... I haven't messed with anything else yet so far. We're fixing to hit the big molds. But this is... The reason why he was last on the mini on the mini molds is because he was the weaker one out of the bunch to <laughs> that I got. I think the definite winner had been strong arm. I loved him. I loved messing with him to death. And uh, believe it or not, salvage the one I the one I messed up. It's who I called stockade thanks to thanks to eBay. But uh, stockade was my favorite one to transform. But trying to pose that thing was a nightmare. And this guy, meh. If someone tosses it in in a lot, keep it. But otherwise, you can guys can actually skip him for real. Yeah. Catch you guys next week. Actually, later this week. Hey.